This video will provide you with an overview of how to build a recursive transform. A recursive transform is a transform that uses the output of a previous run as an input to the next run. This pattern is often used to incrementally aggregate data. In cases where the historical data is substantially larger than the output aggregation, this pattern can translate to significant reduction in processing time and compute resources. A common example is recreating the latest state of a database table from a CDC stream or the individual record change events. Today we'll go through an example of an incremental aggregation using the GitHub archive of individual commits. Let's take a look at the data. We have one row per commit with the commit SHA, the created out of the commit, and the repo name for which the commit belongs to. Our goal is to create a table of the GitHub repository name and the number of commits that it has. We'll do this recursively so that as new data comes in, we can combine the previous counts with the new commits, allowing us to keep our aggregate counts accurate without having to reprocess all the historical commits. To get started, let's create a new transform. We'll name this commit count by repo, and we'll choose PySpark for the type of transform. We'll select this checkbox to indicate that the transform is recursive, and it gives us an option to add an initial base input data set for the initial recursion. We won't need that in this case, and it is optional. The next thing we need to do is how we want to specify that the partitions get handled. The reason that Ascend needs this is so that as it's going through each iteration of recursion, it knows how to order your data set. We'll choose the commit created at in this case, and we'll pick a granularity of a day. This means as new data is coming in, it'll aggregate it into individual daily partitions that go through a recursive loop. The interface is the same as all a normal Ascend transforms look like. However, in this list of data frames, we get one extra data frame, which is the prior value. That's a data frame representing what the rows looked like in its previous iteration. To get started, let's bring in the PySpark SQL functions. And we'll remove some of this stub code that got generated. The first thing we'll do is we'll generate an incremental count. So using the incremental commits that have come in, let's group by the repo name, and then just do a basic aggregation by counting the different commit SHAs. Let's alias this as the commit count. We're ready to handle our base case of recursion now, that if the prior value isn't there yet, we've got our output data ready to go, which is just the incremental counts. Otherwise, we can take our incremental counts and we can union it with the prior value. Now it's possible that we have two different rows for the same repo. So let's do a group by here. And one more aggregation. In this case, it'll be a sum since we'll be adding together the prior values commit counts with the incrementals commits counts. That'll be our new output alias commit count. Let's save that, and Ascend will start running it immediately. Now that this transform is up to date, let's take a look at the data. We can see here that for every GitHub repository, we have the aggregate number of commits. The data volume here, just shy of a million records, is quite a bit lower than all the individual commits, which is about 13 million records. This means that as new commits are coming in, we just can simply combine the million records with the new commits as opposed to reprocessing the full 13 million. This data flow is already set up to handle any common issues that occur with this pattern. For example, dealing with any late data, failures in processing, or code changes that need us to reprocess all the historical data. With Ascend, creating a recursive pattern to efficiently process your data is made simple. While you focus on your business logic, Ascend will handle all the orchestration.